he doesn't really get the whole catching thing. Okay. Alright, this is the very first time I've ever run with him, so we'll see. We're gonna do it down and back. Hi everybody. So I'm going to be narrating here a little bit for you so that you can hear the reasons why I'm doing what I'm doing with Stoli and maybe learn how to do it yourself with your dog. So here I'm just running with Stoli for the first time, just kind of seeing what his movements are like, what he knows, how he is on a leash. You can see that first free stack was almost perfect, but he doesn't know how to hold still on the free stack, so we'll definitely have to work on that. But his attention is awesome. He wants to please. Um, here I also wanted to see if he knew how to catch bait, and most puppies don't, of course, he but he, it wasn't, he didn't really understand what I was looking for, so that's okay. Um, hopefully we can work on that. But he is food motivated, so that's great. So on our first go around, we definitely were a bit discombobulated at the start. His head carriage was all over the place, but he is happy and he has really pretty movement. His tail is beautiful. And again, he wants to please and he wants to learn, so that's great. That free stack is amazing. You can see though, he's not quite sure what to do with it. He tends to want to sit or move, but he is working and he's trying to do what I ask. So that is awesome being that this is the first time him and I have worked together. So he's doing great. You can see Stevie there picking up our scraps, what we might have dropped. So here I am just again kind of seeing how Stoli's body moves, how he stacks, um, and what he knows. He's definitely a little wiggly here, but he's happy and he's trying. It can be a little hard for puppies to hold the stack just because their body is young and they don't have a lot of muscle. Um, so you can see how he he just doesn't know how to hold his body in that position so from front to rear he's off balance um, he's not putting equal weight on all four paws he's definitely leaning forward um, but that's all normal he's also excited he doesn't know me so all you can do here is just kind of keep at it be firm but positive with your corrections and really tell him to stay and try to make everything as quick and minimal effort as possible so you don't want to overwhelm him and keep moving all of his legs constantly get a stack that is good enough ask him to hold it and then release him <laughs> that free stack is beautiful and his want to get the food and to do what I ask of him is just so great. So this puppy has a lot of natural ability. Um, so that makes my job easy. I just have to bring that out in him. It's much harder to um, build that in a dog who doesn't naturally have it. So this go around was a little bit better. It doesn't have much power behind it, but he is a five month old puppy. So that is normal. And he also doesn't know how to move his body yet. So here, I like to stretch the dog up into the stack, ask them to place their front almost exactly where you'd want it. Of course, this stack is not perfect. He's very much overextended, but he's holding it and we got it with minimal effort, so I'll accept it. Okay, help train the doggy. You got your ball? Where'd you win the ball at? With bananas. At going bananas? Yes. Who did we go to going bananas with? I don't know. What's your friend's name? I don't know. Is it Ava? Mm -hmm. Yes. And what is Ava's sister's name? Um, baby. Yeah, baby Ava. And who else? Um, Alex. Alex, yeah. And then we're gonna do the car race. Okay, we're gonna do the car race. First, you have to help us with the doggy, okay? Then we'll go. All right, come on. Come on, Franklin. 
Come on, Stolly. Come on, pup. So here I'm having Tyler and Franklin practice with Stoli, which is good because it allows me to see him and it also gives Stoli practice with someone else. Tyler is not a professional trainer, so it's nice for me to see how Stoli acts when he's not with me. It gives me a realistic picture of how he might <laughs> act um, in not perfect conditions. <laughs> So Franklin is also a great help of distractions because, of course, you're not going to have a little kid following you in the ring, but you might have other distractions and the dog has to learn to um, work through them. So he did pretty good. <laughs> Hi, Franklin. <laughs> good job. Here, Tyler is attempting to stack Stoli. You can see that they're really struggling. Tyler's not holding him very still, but it gives them both practice, so it's fine. He won't let me stack. <laughs> he won't let you, or you can't? Yes, I can. Because I know how he'll Stay. act for me, but... That was better. Now fix his front. Oh, wrong choice. Outside leg comes back. Now fix his back. There you go. Pretty good. He's a little unbalanced, but not too bad. Here we are on day three, and you can see that I like to start with some free stack. Stoli is ready to work. He's so excited. But he still wants to sit and chew on his leash. So we haven't made a ton of progress, but we have been working. This down and back is really, really pretty. You can see he's starting to move with a little bit more power and control, but he's still a crazy puppy. Here he is on day three with Tyler. Their go around has gotten better, but it still is definitely a bit crazy. And here I am again, I'm still on day three working with him. And you'll notice, especially in the beginning of our training sessions, I definitely let the puppies be a little silly. I don't want to correct them too much because I want that happy, willing-to-work attitude. So if they want to jump around a little bit in the beginning, that's fine. But then here you'll see I'll get a little bit more serious and ask more from them. So it's okay to take it easy during the warm-up, but during an actual training session, you definitely want to be clear with what you're asking. So you can see we've made a lot of progress on our free stacking, but he does still want to sit when he gets a little bit, um, you know, tired or lazy from me asking him. But he is trying still, so that's great. His go around is getting better. His head carriage was nice there, nice and steady. It didn't um, drop or come up too much. This free stack was pretty and he moved his one back rear leg for me when I asked without moving any other feet, so that's great. I like to sometimes go right from a free stack into a hand stack because there's times in the ring that you will need to do that. Like if you're the last dog in line in your big class, you might have to very quickly stop running and do a quick hand stack. So the best method is to have a good free stack that you can just quickly fix up to do um, your presentation down the line. He spins around ready to do a free stack, ears up, 
and that was pretty good. I'm really what I'm asking here is for him to move his front feet without moving his rear feet. So you can see, oh, he did that perfect right there. He moved his right front without moving any other legs, and then he's holding the stack, so that is awesome. Okay, here we are in day seven. He has had a bath, he has had his ears trimmed, so he is looking super cute. He is a very nice puppy. And you can see there, he's still having a little bit of trouble holding the stack, but it's gotten much better, and that is a really pretty stack there. So, took him a second to hold it, but he did get it. This movement is really nice. He's still a little up in the front, and, um, you know, a little puppy movement, but again, I don't like to correct them for that, at least not during the warm-up, because I want him happy and excited. His head will drop and his front will reach more as he gets a little bit tired throughout our training session. So again, no side winding. He really has a beautiful down and back. Let's see what our free stack is, and it's good. So he's really, really picking up quickly what I'm asking of him. You can see there he started to reach really nicely, but um, still not perfect, but it's a little bit better than the first time. I have him quickly walk up into a stack. I just have to fix his front a bit. He really doesn't want to hold the stack on his inside rear leg at times, and it's probably just a growing balance thing, so I just pushed that one back so I could help him more easily get into the stack. Usually you would always start with your outside leg, but in this case I started with the inside back. Here we are on day nine. Today I wanted to work Stoli on a different surface other than the grass. So I work him on the stone and then I also worked him on our patio, the pavers. And it's good to just get your dog practice on different surfaces. It's good for their general socialization. Um, so he is a little bit distracted. It was windy this morning and um, he just seemed distracted, but I still worked him through it, just kept it as happy and positive as I could. Here I am pushing him backwards, trying to get him to use his stack a little bit better, and he's doing pretty good. You can see Stoli is doing a really good job at free stacking. He's really understanding where to place his feet and how to stand still. But he still can't catch the bait very well, so we're going to work on that mostly today. Just some free stacking, a little bit of movement, and a lot of learning to catch the bait. So how you do that is you get their attention, then you toss them the bait. If they drop it, try not to let them pick it up off of the ground so that they're more inclined to want to catch it since that's the only way that they'll actually get their food. I'm really going to ask Stoli to try and perfect his free stack here, get him to work a little bit more for that treat. He's a little distracted, so I want him to really have to engage and work for this instead of just getting it um, without trying too hard. So that was pretty good. He really moved a lot of legs for me. He was focused on the treat. He did try to catch it, but he didn't get it, so let's try again. There we go, he's about to move. There we go, he moved his inside front leg for me, which was perfect, without moving his outside back leg. He tried to catch the bait, but he didn't get it. But he is really working hard, and he's really trying to get that free stack for me um, before he gets the bait. So that is wonderful. Let's see if he can do it. So that is pretty good. Obviously his back legs are not perfectly aligned, but I will let it go because he definitely tried and he did move his front legs for me without moving his rear. So I am happy with that. I want to break up the free stacking practice a little bit with a down and back. So a lot of times you're most often going to free stack, of course, after you're down and back. So I just like to practice that motion so it's really second nature by the time they get in the ring. 
So a quick down and back and let's see how his free stack is. And it's pretty good. You can see he's really understanding where to put his front feet. I just wanted him to extend his back leg a little bit, fix his front. Let's see, and he's a bit distracted. So I'll just reset him, try again. <clears throat> At this point he seemed a little bored, maybe a little tired. He didn't really want to do it. We had been working for a little while before I started filming, but I do want to try and end on a good note, and there he's galloping. I do want to try and end on a good note, so I'm just going to, there we go, try a little bit more till he gets it. So that was pretty good. He tried to catch it, and he did end up actually getting it off the ground. Oh, stole it. Dolly, get back. We're gonna catch. We're gonna catch. Ready? Get back. Hey. Hey. Dolly. Here. Good. Good boy. Ready? I really want to work on Stoli's ability to catch bait, so I just focused on that for this clip. So I don't care too much about where his feet are, I'm just trying to get him to catch the food. So I'm using little tiny pieces of his kibble, um, his dog food that he would eat for breakfast. Instead of just giving it to him in his bowl, I'm going to try and have him work for it. So here I'm just pretty much dropping the kibble into his mouth, but that is kind of the first step of teaching him to catch, is the idea that the food goes from my hand and drops into his mouth. So eventually he'll learn to take it from a longer distance, but for the beginning he pretty much has to take it when it just falls out of my hand. So I'm gonna do that, just tell him he's a good boy. I think I was using my clicker here and just clicking when he is actually successfully reaching for and getting the food. You can see there he drops it and really you should try to not let him pick it up off the ground but I don't like to yank on them too much so if they pull me and they get it then that's okay. It seems like Stoli is catching on a little bit. Let's see if he can do it. And he caught it so that is awesome and I want to give him a lot of praise for that. Good boy. You got the toy. Stoli's got the toy. He's got the toy. He's got the toy. Yeah, he's got the toy. <laughs> Good boy. Come Go. Here. 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 Oh, you tried. There's a good job. Good job. Here. Stole. Stole. You tried. Come on, bud. You can do it. Ready? Oh, no. Here. Oh, you tried. Good boy. Come on. Good boy. Here. Want more food? Good boy. Ready? You're trying, bud. Here. Here. Good boy. Here. Stoli. It seems like hey. even though he was able to catch it that one time, he obviously still needs a lot of practice, yes. but he is trying, yes. so I'm going to see if we can end yes. on a positive note. Good and job. he caught it, so you we will it. just end there. Good. Here. Get back. Good boy. Catch. <laughs> <laughs> on you, you fall. <laughs> Here. Let's see if it was a fluke or if he actually went. Okay. Nope. Okay. Okay. Catch. Yay! Yay! Good boy! One more time. Okay. Stand. Good boy. Stay. Catch. Yay! Yay! 
Here we are on day 14, which was actually the last day that I had Stoli. He went home after this training session, so I was really excited to work with him for one last time. And we did a pretty long training session. This is in the very beginning, as soon as I pulled him out of um, the kennel, so he's a little bit wiggly and crazy, but that's okay. He's excited, and if this is how good he is right out of the kennel, I am very happy. So you can see he's really got his stack down. He can stand wonderfully, and he can bait and put his ears up. But he's still a puppy, so he does still move from time to time, and I'm okay with that. I'm going to do a little bit of free stack practice, show that off, and you can see he's doing so good. He really wants to do what I'm asking him. His willingness to work is still wonderful. He can really extend and hold his stack better. I could have asked him to fix his front a bit in this particular free stack, but again, this is just our warm up, so I will take what I can get, and I was pretty happy with that. So his down and back has gotten really nice. There is minimal side winding, and again, for practice, for our first down and back out of the kennel, I'm happy. His coming back to the judge is excellent. His ears are up, and he has intention to work. He moves his front perfectly for me as soon as I ask. Let's see if I can get him to do it. And that is pretty perfect. A little overextended, but pretty nice. So I will take that. You can see his go around has come along so nicely. That's some really pretty side gate. He tripped a little bit there, but he can effortlessly cover a lot of ground. So for a five month old puppy, I think that's pretty nice. Let's see how his free stack is. Very nice, so really happy with that. I wish I actually took that and showed that off a little bit more, but I do wanna work on his transitions, so it is important that I can quickly hand stack him, and that transition is something that a lot of dogs can struggle with in the ring, a lot of handlers can struggle with, so I make sure to work on that quite a bit. That is a really pretty stack. Sorry about the shadows. I didn't realize um, quite how sunny and shadowy it was this morning, but I think you can still see him okay. I was filming this on my own, so I wasn't able to check what it looked like before filming, and he gets tired quickly, so it's hard for me to shoot too many clips and edit them. But here is another free stack. I think he does this one really nicely. If I remember, it takes us a couple corrections to make it perfect, but he ends up doing it, so let's see. There he goes, he moves his front for me, he pulls up over his shoulders, really pretty neck, really pretty ears, and to top it off, he catches the food. This go around, you can really see how nicely he's moving. His reach and drive is really equal and very pretty. So we'll do a little bit more free stack, and there is another really nice one. He is pretty much as perfect as it gets, um, and he catches the food. So he's doing so well, and he's so much fun to work with. I really enjoy training this puppy. Good. Step. Good boy. Step. Back. 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 Good. Good. After we practiced our free stacks, Yay! he caught the bait, he's doing really well, I wanted to move on to the next thing that we wanted to practice, and that was some hand stacking. So you can see I'm going to ask him to walk his front up into a stack, which he didn't really do, we were just a little bit off balance, so I'm going to spin a circle and try again. So that was better, he landed his front almost perfect, I'm just going to fix it a tiny bit, I'm going to try and help him. Um, extend his rear you can see we were just a bit off balance so I'm going to spin another circle try again walk him into it that was a little bit off balance but we made it I'm going to fix his front go to his rear and I think I mentioned this before typically you would stack the outside rear leg first 
For Stoli at this stage, I'm stacking sometimes his inside Same. rear leg first. I find no. that it helps him balance better. You can see there he still moved, and I did correct him for that one um, because I had him stacked. I asked him to stay, and he just got silly and wanted to move his legs to try and get the food. And so I didn't correct him hard by any means, but I definitely told him no and reminded him I wanted him to stay. Let's see if he can focus and do better this time. So that was a good stack Stay. and I was able to Stay. get my food out, let go of him a bit and let him pull himself over his shoulders. So that is really pretty. That is so nice. I actually don't good have a boy. lot of pressure on my leash here. Good it boy. is not s loose so there's no slack in my leash but I'm not pulling it tight either. Um, there's just enough tension to keep my leash without any slack but nothing more. So that was good, but I think we can do better. I wanted to get him a little bit better focused in the frame for everybody to see. So I repositioned, tried again. Here we are, and that's really nice. So he is doing excellent. Like I said, he's a lot of fun to work with. But he still didn't want to hold that stack, so we had to try again. Here we are, and that is a really, really pretty nice stack. I was able to drop my leash a bit, get his ears up, free bait him. Yay! Good boy! He's doing so good, and might I remind you, he's only five months old, so I'm just so impressed. Here is a down and back, really nice, a little wiggly, but totally okay. He's a happy boy. Let's see how this stack goes. You can see he's getting a little tired there already. It's hard work being a young puppy. So that was pretty good because he was a little tired on that spin around. I'm going to let go of the fact that his back legs aren't perfect and just accept what I can get from him, which is still really nice. Um, but here I am going to fix him a bit just because I know with a few minor touches I can make him look perfect. And there we are. He pretty much had it right, but I just wanted to help teach him that if you just move these legs a tiny bit, it would have been perfect. Here we go on a go around, really pretty reach and drive. Even though he's tired, he's still giving me it, his all. He does take a lot of encouragement right now to really reach and drive, and that's just because of his age. He's growing, so it can be hard to move those big legs and that big body. This free stack was coming along good. so good. He's moving his Yay, front for me. Good. There he is. It is perfect. He is just beautiful. And, oh, he doesn't catch the bait, but he really tried for it. So I was so pleased with him today. And I'm so pleased with his progress, but he is just looking so beautiful today. So he was getting a little lazy on me. I wanted to pick up the speed a little bit, play with him, make him chase the food around in a circle, see what I can get out of him. And he didn't want to give me a stack there, so I'm just going to ask again. Ask him to move his front feet. Nope, he still moved his back. Let's try again. There we are. He moved his front leg for me really nice. So I'm going to take that. Good boy. Good boy. Stay. Here. So, ready? Oh, you missed. You missed. Good boy. You gotta catch. You gotta catch. Here. Who's that good boy? Good. Good boy. Here. Good boy. Here. Good boy. Come. Good boy.
I can tell now that he is getting tired and I should probably start wrapping up our training session. So that's what I'm going to start to do. He's losing focus, but I do want to end on a positive note. So I'm just going to ask him for a few more free stacks. This one is really nice. And maybe I should have just ended here because you can see he is getting tired. But I decided to ask for just a little bit more from him since this is the last day of training that we had together. So again, I'm going to ask him for a few more free stacks. As soon as I feel like he has given me enough effort, then I will tell him he's such a good boy and let him be done. Good, yes! Good boy here! Who's that good boy? Who's that good boy? Ready? Good. Good boy. Back up. Good boy. Sit there. Sit there. Yes. Stay. Good boy. Ready? Are you going to catch? Are you going to catch? Yay! You did it! Yay! 